Hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Mrs. Bandu's Math Movies. This is Lesson 6-3 for Course 2, Fourth Period. Percents greater than 100% or less than 1%. So we're going to convert between fractions, decimals, and percents that are greater than 100% or less than 1%. So let's get started. And basically, we're going to employ some of the, uh, the same rules that we've looked at already. It's just we have special numbers because they're greater than 100%, which means greater than one whole, all right, or less than 1%, which means very, very small amounts. Okay. Rewriting percents greater than 100%. Write 140 as a decimal and as a fraction. So, first of all, if I start out with 140%, I can move the decimal point two places to the left. So, one, two, and you lose your... Uh, percent sign. So when you want to lose the percent sign, move to the left two places. Might be helpful, the L and the L. Okay, I don't know. And then as um, a fraction, so I can write 140 over 100 uh, and simplify that dividing by 20. Each the numerator and denominator gives you 7 over 5 or one and two-fifths for the mixed number. Remember, to get a mixed number, you take the numerator, divide by the denominator, and you're going to need to do this um, by hand because by calculator will give you the decimal. Well, you could also check on the calculator, though. It, when you take seven divided by five, you should get the decimal that you wrote up here as well. Okay. Uh, so 100... 40% equals 1.4 or 1.40 in decimal form and 1 and 2 fifths in fraction form. Notice that this fraction is a mixed number. So sometimes if, if you have a percent greater than 100%, you will be giving me mixed numbers for answers, not fractions. And we see that 140% is more than one whole in both cases. Okay, example number two, rewriting percents less than 1%. Write 0.75% as a decimal and as a fraction in simplest form. Okay, so we're gonna start with the decimal. Again, we're going to move the decimal point two places to the left. We wanna lose the percent sign, so we're gonna go left two places. I'll pass up the zero, pass up another place, have to hold place with the zero. So that's going to be 0 0.0075 and lose the percent sign. Okay, fairly straightforward there. Here it gets a little bit trickier because we're going to start out with the definition of percent, 0 0.75 over 100. We want to multiply the numerator and denominator by, in this case, 100 or you're going to move the decimal point so that the numerator becomes a whole number. So that's the, that's the idea. So I'm going to put a little star here or move the decimal point because sometimes it's going to be more than one place. It'll be one place, two places, sometimes it could be three, and so on. So that's going to give me uh, 75 over 10,000. Uh, greatest common factor here is 25, or you might start going with fives. All right. So 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 10,000 divided by 25 is 400. So 75 hundredths of a percent equals 0 0.0075 or 75 ten thousandths in decimal form, and 3 over 400 in fraction form. 3 over 400 would be very, very small. I think we've talked, um, you might think about this as 3 pennies out of a pile of 400. It would hardly make a dent in the 400 penny pile. Okay. All right, there are a couple of exam uh, quick checks here. I will move on to the next example, however. And this one is writing mixed numbers as percents. The sports stadium at a school has four and two-thirds as many seats as the auditorium. 
Write this mixed number as a percent, round to the nearest hundredth. Okay. So, um, Okay, so what your calculator does here may seem a little confusing, but hopefully it's not. What you can do here is type in 4 plus and then 2 divided by 3. Your calculator uh, will know that it should divide 2 by 3 to give you a decimal, and it will leave the 4 as the whole number. So you're going to get 4.666, and it's going to repeat. Probably at the end, the last digit that will show is a 7 because it will round. Move the decimal point then from this, this two places to the right, so you have your percent. Okay, so when I do that, that gives me 466, and I want it to the nearest hundredth, so tenths, hundredths after I move it would be 0.67, because the repeating six, ends up as a 7, or even as a 6, either way, it's going to tell you you're going to pop that up to a 7. So the number of seats in the stadium is 466.67% of the number of seats in the auditorium. So it's well over 4.5 times larger than, or 4.5 times as large as the stadium, bigger. I mean, as the uh, auditorium. The stadium is larger than the auditorium by quite a bit. Okay. Also remember, you could have just done uh, called, recalled what we had done earlier in the year. 3 times 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14. 14 divided by 3 will give you the same number. Or another thing, 4 is going to be the whole number. You could just do write down your 4 in a decimal point and do 2 divided by 3. So there's more than one way to get where you're going, but it does take an understanding of mixed numbers to get there. All right, let's look at number four. An animal shelter has four beagles av available for adoption. There are 481 other dogs for adoption that are not beagles. What percentage of the dogs are beagles? Okay, so, uh, and we have multiple choice um, question here. Okay, so first of all, what percentage of the dogs? We need to figure out how many total dogs there are. So there are 481 that are not beagles plus four that are. So there are 485 total dogs. Sometimes you'll have to add, sometimes you won't. You're going to have to understand what the question is telling you. It gave you information to find the total, but it did not tell you the total. So you have to figure that out. When we write our uh, ratio that we start out with, number of beagles to total number of dogs, again, this is a variation of the part to whole that we have talked about in class some, okay? So the part of the dogs or the number of the dogs that are beagles is four. The total number of dogs all together is 485. Okay, and that's just a smudge on your paper. That's not a, a point or anything. Okay, now you're going to, you have the fraction 4 over 485. You're going to use a calculator, and you're going to take 4 divided by 485. Please don't do it backwards. Then you're going to get point zero zero eight two four seven, And it may continue a little further than that, depending on your display. Now we want to write it as a percent, so we're going to put the percent sign behind this answer. So you're going to move the decimal point toward the percent sign, and that's going to be point, uh, let's see, point 0.8% roughly, okay? And again, you might, depending on where you needed to round it, that's fine, but if I look up here, once I move my decimal point, my choices are 8%, 0.8%, 0.08%, 0.08%, and 0.008%. Um, let's see, B is the correct answer. About 8 tenths of a percent of the dogs are beagles, so um, the correct answer choice is choice B. 
All right, there are two more quick check questions after these examples. Please have all four completed for next time we meet. I'll see you then. Bye.